Esther Brown was a 67-year-old pensioner who devoted her life to her local church and her local community in the Woodlands area of Glasgow. Esther was an exceptionally kind, compassionate, gentle woman. Um, very, very hardworking. She volunteered with us for over a decade. She volunteered with her church. She helped people who were homeless. She helped asylum seekers and refugees. So she had, a, she, was, she had a true heart of gold. But earlier this year, this man, 30-year-old Jason Graham, gained entry to her flat. Tonight, he is beginning a life sentence for her rape and murder. I see in passing that I have no doubt that Miss Brown's relatives and those who knew her have been deeply affected by this. Nothing I can say or do can compensate for their loss, and I suspect that no sentence would ever be regarded as sufficient in their eyes. Graham claims he has no recollection of his attack on Esther, but a court-ordered report says he had a high level of planning in seeking out a vulnerable victim and forcing his way into her home. It's not the first time Graham has been jailed. In 2014, he was sentenced to seven and a half years for raping a 61-year-old woman. The sentence was shorter, partly because he'd pled guilty at an early stage. But changes in the law meant prisoners were released after serving just two-thirds of their sentence, meaning Graham was freed in 2018. I think this is a, a terrible case. That re Really what happened to Esther Brown should never have happened. And I, I do think for members of the public looking on, what they'll be thinking is how could this have happened when he was on the sex offenders register? He'd already served a sentence for a really, really similar offence. So it's clear to me that we need to look at what lessons can be learned from this case. The Scottish Conservatives are calling for greater transparency around parole decisions. Esther Brown was brutally murdered in her own home by a man who was freed early from a prison sentence. There was no transparency around that decision and we don't know whether there was a failure around his monitoring. What were the terms of his monitoring? The public are in the dark and that needs to change. The Scottish Government declined our offer of an on-camera interview. Graham was a registered sex offender living under restrictions when he committed the crime. Police Scotland say in the light of that, an independent significant case review is underway. Tonight, those who knew Esther Brown best are left questioning how a man with a violent sexual past was able to strike at the heart of their community. This is somebody who'd had a previous conviction for a violent rape. In scarily similar circumstances, had broken into somebody's home and attacked and raped a pensioner in their own home and yet only served four years actually in prison. Had we had a criminal justice system which put women at the heart of it, Esther would still be here because this man would have, would have been serving time. Um, so I think it certainly has added to the community's anger as well as, as, as other distress. The Woodlands community have set up a fund in order to build a memorial in Esther's memory saying they want to honour her spirit and wonderful way of being. Ollie Dickinson, STV News.